Couldn't even tell I had a house back there. We'd never had to evacuate before. None of us believed our houses would burn. Fires were just everywhere around us. They have told us to evacuate. It's an unspeakable thing to lose your home. It's just a situation that you don't know what to do. We just started throwing things in vehicles. But Kitty was a different story. She was totally terrified. And we never could load her in the trailer. Finally, I just opened the gate to let her go. I remember asking God to not hurt Kitty. He could take my home, but not Kitty. I'm Clinton Anderson, and I have a method for training horses. Getting horses to behave is simple. It's training people that's the real trick. Join me as I tackle some of the most challenging situations with problem horses and with problem owners. About two years ago, I got a rescue horse. Her name is Kitty. She's just what I would call a wild horse. She's terrified. From what I understand, she was turned out on, I believe, a 1,700-acre pasture on a ranch and forgotten about for about three years. She was in poor health when I got her, underfed, underweight, ticks. Her hooves were just horrible condition. I don't know what had ever been done to her. She was five years old. She'd been turned out since she was two with a yearling size halter on, and it had grown to her over the bridge of her nose. This is the halter that she had on the day that I got her. I don't know how much you can tell. This was all covered with skin, and the bridge of her nose was infected. Some of her hide is still hidden here. People don't realize that leaving a halter on a horse for long amounts of time is very, very dangerous. In this particular mare's case, somebody left a halter on a horse that's too small for several years, and then the skin actually grows over the top of the halter. It'd be like putting a pair of shoes on your kid that's five and leaving that same pair of shoes on the kid for six years. I could tell she wasn't mean, she wasn't aggressive, and I knew that she had the possibility of becoming a beautiful, beautiful horse. We were starting to bond a little bit, and then suddenly, fate happened to her again. In the spring of 2011, I was living in Possum Kingdom Lake, Texas. We'd had a severe drought. The wind was blowing unbelievably hard on a Saturday night, April the 16th. We had a, a wildfire that started several miles away. Fires were just everywhere around us, and they had told us to evacuate. Called in friends and family, and we were frantically trying to decide what to get out of the house and what to do with this and what to do with that. Kitty was totally terrified. We were frantically trying to get Kitty somewhere safe, and we never could load her in the trailer. Just, she would not go. Finally, because nothing else we could do, I just opened the gate let her go. Couldn't even tell I had a house back there. We'd never had to evacuate before. None of us believed our houses would burn, but they did. About right here is where the porch was. Cedar. And then right here, this is where the house was. And uh, every time I come here, I find, uh, I find different things. Evidently, this brush was in the barn. Looks like it must have been Kitty's brush. 
it's an unspeakable thing to lose your home. It's just a situation that you don't know what to do. All I could think of when I opened that gate was that uh, she had enough instinct to survive. I remember asking God to, to not hurt Kitty. He could take my home, but not Kitty. It was a couple of days after the fire before I finally got the phone call. Kitty had been seen. She was alive. She was well. She wasn't scratched, burnt, nothing. And, uh, wow. A firefighter friend went out there and took a picture of her and uh, got the picture to me. I will keep that picture forever. We can only guess that she went back over to the creek where there was water. I guess we'll never know. You know, horses' self-preservation is very strong, no different to humans. When that mare knew she was in a fire, she knew that she had to get somewhere where she could escape the fire and get to water. And that's exactly what she did. She got to a creek, she got to the water, and she protected herself. You know, that's basic survival, instinct 101. Humans do it, horses are no different. Well, her name is Kitty, so maybe she has nine lives. I don't know, she's already kind of kind of used up too. Since the fire, she just is terrified of human contact. Sometimes she'll let me touch her. Sometimes she'll eat out of my hand. Sometimes she'll eat out of the feed bucket. But a lot of times, she won't even let me get near her. Carrie was kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place. She didn't know what else to do with this horse. I just want to bond completely, totally. I mean, I'd love to ride her, but if I could just show her what it feels like to trust a human, especially me, then that would be, that'd just be wonderful. And uh, hopefully Clinton can help us do that together. Step up your horsemanship with the Clinton Anderson Method. Now available in a complete set. Fundamentals starts you on your journey to ultimate control. As you learn to communicate with your horse, earn his trust and respect, and gain control of his body. Intermediate opens the door to ultimate performance as you build on your knowledge to create a safe, willing, and supple partner you control with a feather-like touch. And now, all you advance delivers ultimate inspiration to fine-tune your application of the method and reach the highest level of horsemanship. Clinton Anderson offers you the ultimate collection of his wildly popular training method kits at a packaged price. You know, Brittany, we're going to treat this horse like it's a big foal, basically. It's never been caught before. It doesn't know how to lead. It really doesn't know anything. With what this horse has gone through in the past, it's really sad that any animal would have to go through that traumatic experience. 
Hey, mate, how are you? I'm doing good. How are you, What's sir? your name? My name is Carrie. Carrie, Carrie good to meet you, nice Carrie. Nice to meet you, Mr. Anderson. Carrie, this is my apprentice, Brittany. Nice, nice to, meet to meet you, Brittany. Got the outlaw on the trailer and you're here. She's on the trailer and it wasn't too bad. Well, good, good. Well, I tell you what, we're going to go and unload her right now. Okay. And then I'm really interested to see the horse and find out the rest of the story behind why she's here. That's it. Keep coming. Keep coming. Good girl. Here's the good news, mate. You gotta forget about your horse for four days because I've got it under control. Brittany and I are gonna work with your horse and in four days' time, it's gonna be a completely different horse. You know, you've heard of the whole home makeover. I'm gonna give you a horse makeover. That's what I want. But I, I need want. four days. You okay. could have five days if you want them, <laughs> as long as it, whatever you do, it's gonna be a help, I know Well, that. I guarantee you, and you follow my method, it doesn't matter what the horse's problem is, whether it was abused, where it came from, you can fix any horse with my method. Rest up in four days' time, you'll be back to see a big difference, mate. Righto, Brittany, it's time for action now, mate. You know the method, you know it works. Get in there, show me how it's done, mate. Step one is, we're gonna establish direction, aren't we? That's it. That's it. You know, there's no loving on them to get them quiet. You've got to gain their respect. Spank, 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 release, release. Gaining their respect and gaining control of their feet, that's what'll get them quiet. There, backwards, backwards, backwards. Oh, good girl. Looking good, Brittany. Good. So right now, we're not trying to catch her, we're just trying to get control of her feet. Ah, love that, love that. So it's very important what Brittany's doing here. She's getting this mare to disengage that hindquarters and get a mental connection with the human. It makes it a lot easier when you go to put that rope on. Okay, Brittany, she's ready. Let's go ahead and rope her, mate. She kind of jumped around and threw her head up because she's never had any restriction around her head. Even though she's had a halter on for most of her life, she's never actually had anybody pull on it. This mare really struggled with things around her head. But then other things she adapted to very quickly. Get that hindquarters loosened up, keep going. Now spiral out, spiral out. Pull on that rope a little bit, get a feel in that pressure. Now yeah, go back and rub her there. And then slowly get your hand up there. Oh, lo love that retreat right there. She's licking her lips, isn't she? Mm -hmm. Go do it again. It's important that we had four days to work with this mare because you can't do a miracle in one day. So Brittany worked with the mare twice a day for four days, for about an hour and a half per session. So far, Kitty has responded great to the method, just like any horse does. The more and more we get her to use the thinking side of her brain, then that reactive side is going to get smaller and smaller. She's made a lot of progress in just a few days. After four days of working with the method, it was time to introduce the owner to the new horse. Check out our latest catalog from Down Under Horsemanship. It's filled with beautiful imagery and in-depth information on all the products used in this show. Visit our website or call this number and we'll send it to your door free of charge. The 
only relationship Kerry has ever known with her horse was a very distant one. But now, thanks to the method, that bridge is about to be crossed. When I brought her here, I just kept thinking, I'm hoping that this will be just short of a miracle and something great will happen. Carrie, great to have you back here at the ranch, mate. How are you? You're not going to start crying, are you? <laughs> For God's sake, woman, well, if you start crying, I'm going to start crying. Have you been thinking about your horse? When I saw her today, at first I thought maybe, and then suddenly the tears just came. There went the dam. When I have a horse that makes a big turnaround like this, the owners usually start crying straight away. Then I start crying, and it's just a mess from that point on, OK? But all jokes aside, she was very much overwhelmed because this, she's really cared about this horse for a long time. She's wanted the best for this horse, and it seems like this horse keeps getting the wrong end of the deal. Well, now the horse and Kerry both got the right end of the deal. For the last four days, let me show you what we've been working on. This is just a fraction. Brittany, why don't you go ahead and show Carrie her brand new horse. Remember the house makeover? This is your horse makeover. See how quiet she is. Pick up her back legs. So no more do you have to worry about her feet being in bad shape. You know what I mean? Now you're going to be able to trim them and get your barrier out there. What do you think? It's amazing. Thank you so much. You're welcome, mate. She really is a sweet-natured horse. She wants to be good. She doesn't want to be bad. She was just afraid. She was afraid. She didn't know how to trust people, you know, from a bad upbringing with the halter and being turned out and the grown over a face to the fire. She didn't really trust anything, did she? No, sir, Big not at all. Big difference now. Let me show you something really dramatic now. You're not even going to believe this. This here is what we call the Jeffries method. We just lay all over and rub them. We're like a human curry comb. And notice how Brittany's just slowly sliding off the back of it there. I want this mare kid broke for you. Does that make sense? Yes, sir. I want her so, so quiet that your grandchildren can come out and, and love on her and rub on her, and, and she's just going to stand there like a statue. When I watched Brittany climb up on Kitty's back and just lay down, there was so much more than I expected. Did you ever think we could get this done? No, sir. I'm amazed. Thank you so much. This just, that's the horse I wanted. That's the horse I knew she could be. First thing we did a lot of is desensitize. So we spent a lot of time just flipping this rope all over her withers and back, hindquarters, back legs, front legs, just showing her that she doesn't need to fear this. Now in the beginning, she wanted to kick at that rope quite a bit. And we just kept, you know, just throwing it around her legs until she just got over it. She wasn't kicking because she was bad. She was just kicking because she was frightened of it. Now notice that Brittany now is spanking the ground. Well, she's spanking the ground with pretty high energy. And look how quiet that mare is. Yes, it's wonderful. She never would have tolerated that four days ago, would she? OK, Brittany, go ahead and do lunging for respect stage one now. This is another exercise, carry to encourage those feet to move. Look how soft she is on the halter. Notice when she's trotting around, see all the slack in the halter that Brittany's got there? That's excellent. Yes, so what do you sir. think so far? Oh, this is just absolutely wonderful. And that doesn't even say it. Well, this, we haven't even got close to showing you everything she knows yet. OK, Brittany, why don't you show us the sending exercise? This is a great little exercise to get her over any fear of feeling trapped and claustrophobic in tight, narrow spaces. OK, Brittany, why don't you go do a little circle driving now? This is just gets them to get really soft on that halter. See how when she circles, she often has a nose tipped to the inside and she bends around us and she's very light? That's what this exercise does. You hold the hindquarters and then she's going to bring that front end through. There we go. So how about we introduce you to your new horse? How's that sound? That sounds Instead of being a spectator, absolutely. I want you to get in the middle of it and get to know your horse, mate.
was great to see this owner and this horse basically meet for the first time. Even though she's owned this mare for the last couple of years, she's never really been able to have a relationship with her. The first time I touched her on the face and she didn't move away or even flinch. Give me just a minute. You can't describe what your hands feel like when they're doing that. There's just no way. That's what Down Under Horsemanship is about, putting the horse and the human together to where they can communicate and have success. So, Carrie, have you ever been able to rub on her like this? No, sir. Okay, well, get in no, there, sir. rub on her, enjoy her. You got a brand new horse here, acting like she's 10 ton dynamite. Get in there, love on her, that's it, hug on her. Felt like a horse. <laughs> she felt like she was supposed to feel. I was able to put both hands on her, rub her all over. I'm looking forward to being able to give her a bath and everything. Before we start moving her feet, I want you to prove to her that you're not trying to hurt her. Okay. So you're gonna flip it up over her back there, okay. withers and back. That's it, go up over her back. There you go. See, she knows Brittany really well, yes. okay? She's gonna to learn to accept you this much, so that's why you gotta spend a little quality time with her. Now go back in and rub her with both hands. Rub her on the withers, both hands. That's it. Go ahead and do the same thing on this side. Rub her over her withers and back. There you go, just like that. Just Keeping both hands moving, both hands moving. I love that. See a licking lips there? Yes, sir. She's starting to relax. Okay, so before we did any moving around, I just wanted you and her to spend some quality, non kind of threatening time together. So, what I want you to do, Kerry, is, is we're going to flog her with kindness, withers and back, and then over a hind cord. Just swing the whole stick with this rhythm there. There. Love that. Excellent. Let's do that. So we're getting her used to that stick, remember? I don't want her to be frightened of it. I want her to respect it, but I don't want her to fear it. To drag All that Carrie needs to do is go home and keep working with her and take her through the method, and she's gonna be a great horse. Big difference in her. She was scared to death, wasn't she? Yes, sir. Now she's comfortable with the stick and the rope. She's comfortable with the human beings. You can pick up her feet. What a difference in the horse. It's absolutely wonderful. Love that. Go and rub her with the stick now. She's licking her lips. Excellent. Now just put the stick down and just go and love on there and enjoy your horse a little bit more. All these years you've owned her and you haven't been able to really enjoy her, have you? No, sir. I couldn't touch her with a brush. She ran from a brush. Now sure. she likes that attention, doesn't she? Yes. Brittany almost pulled her. <laughs> Brittany's got her to where she's respectful, but she's also quiet. Very much. Okay. But I'll, I'll tell you this, if you go home and you only love on her and you don't gain control of her feet, she will get pushier and she'll get actually disrespectful in time. Oh, yes. But if you follow the fundamentals and you move her feet and gain her respect, that won't happen. You know, mate, it doesn't matter where your horses come from or the background. If you follow my method, you follow the steps, you can achieve extraordinary results with your horses. This is living proof of what you can do if you follow my method. I hope you've enjoyed this week's show. Keep up the good work. Practice with your horses, and if you do, you're going to take your relationship with your horse to another level. Listen, mate, you've done great. I'm very proud of you. You did great, mate. If you'd like more information, mate, on any of the products you've seen on today's show, click on our website at downunderhorsemanship.com, and we'll send you a free catalog, mate.